Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we're going to talk about the Rousey situation. Now, if you've been on Roblox for a bit, you have probably have seen a lot of early access to Rousey's, to like paid access to the Rousey's game, but those are not real. Uh, if you didn't know, probably did. But a lot of people have been getting scammed and buying into some of those early access and some of those are like what 400 robux it's like five dollars or something like that they're still getting money from you from doing that if you did that i don't know if you did or didn't i hope you didn't and you were you didn't buy any in two of those things or believed it i i just didn't really went and buy any of those because i was like yeah they didn't say anything and it doesn't seem official if it was official then the real brothers would have said something about it they said it's going to come out for free access on around December. They haven't said exactly what release date. But mostly there's a lot of these copies that says early access and you're not getting an actual early access to real seeds. That's 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 a that's a lie. Do not buy into those. And yeah, um, there's also Captain Maui. He he changed his username a lot of times he changed it i think i remember how he actually looks like because he did a stream on blocks Road. he is an ultimate scammer do not do not follow this man what his words i always was skeptical about him and yeah there was even some other youtubers from the blocks Road on discord chat which some of them has mentioned that captain maui said um uh, he for his members He's going to give them a PS5. Never really gave out a PS5 to those members that bought the membership, which makes no sense. That's a scam. And then Captain Maui's makes up lies and lies and all he really wants is money. It's very apparent. I don't know if he was always like this or not, but I remember when he used to make like blocks for videos and I mean like from since blocks were released, which was like 2017 or 18 and all he was like, he was actually trying to give away fruits and stuff like that. I didn't really win of his giveaways, but I know he gave away smoke and stuff like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a bit weird. I guess a lot of people just want to try to take your money and try to get the gullible uh, people that don't know the difference. If you don't know the difference and you are confused about a game, always, and I mean always, go and scroll down to developers and check if it says Rao brothers and then if it's a group click on it and check who's the manager and stuff like that so basically captain maui he had a game called eternal peace which has been switched and renamed to Rao seas why have he done this probably again to get robux to those people that would actually buy into it and not really think too much about it but what i would say if you want to make it sure that a game is 100% from the Rail Bros. If you have joined the Rail Bros Discord server, they will say something if it's from them. If it's public or not, they will mention it there. That way it's not confusing for everyone. And it's, they really say basically everything there or their Twitter or YouTube, all those stuff. They would have announced it if Rail Seas was coming near and they were giving early access. I mean, they have, they are giving quote-unquote early access to people that pay for their membership on their discord server um although that's really against tos for roblox but whatever man whatever get pays the bills i know they paid a lot to get relsies to what they think would people would like which i hope is not bad and i hope it's good game because it's I mean, a lot of YouTubers were trying to like talk about and hype up Devils of Creations and that game came out and now it's just like, like, bro, the game it has lowered in player count, well, which is not like, a, I mean, it lowered 10,000. It's like at 13,000 now. It used to be like in 23,000 since release, but a lot of people found out it's a bandit beater. whoop de doo What a surprise. There was a lot of people trying to hype it up. And then, yeah, it released and all that. It just seems like a few YouTubers are just 
trying to squeeze content as much as they can and trying to hype up a game and then that's what kills the game off. Tales of Tenuria was hyped up by Leggy HD, respectfully, and the game is is doing, I mean, well for them, but uh, not Lucky HD was the only one hyping it up. I'm talking about the others were mostly hyping them out, uh, hyping the game up, because it was supposed to be just a simple creature catching game with voice acting and such. It has voice acting. It's a creature catching game. It's doing collab with Doors. Um, I'll probably check it out. They added trade. The the chances for some of the Tenorians are crazy. Point being, Tales of Tenorio is a creature catching game. Devil's Creation was hyped. Tales of Tenorio was hyped. Lucky HD hyped up hit the game he was developing, but not as much as some other YouTubers that were over hyping it and pretty much hyping a game really could kill it off. Because you could have your expectations really high and give your viewers a high expectation. And when it, they don't get met, the game just plummets. And in a way, I'm hoping Ralsei's is not the same. And it's actually going to be a fun, unique game. Because I liked playing Devil's Creation, but to some extent. Because I got into the point where it's... 20 boss, 20 enemies. I got to the point where you have to defeat 20 enemies plus another 20 enemies to just get a, a the next part of the quest. And that next part has another little uh, thing, which ones of, to be exact, let me give you a quest. The, the quest that I could do now that I would get actually XP from would be where you have to fight like trolls or orgs. And I have to beat 15 and 10. And then after that, I have to get some uh, blue mushrooms and sherry. Like 25 and 10 of them. And I have to go back and forth and back and forth. I am lucky to have I've gotten an amount. But if I didn't, that would have been so tedious and so boring. That's for a chance to open a chest as well, that quest, to get a flying mount. And to get a flying mount, it's a 1%. The game is basically RNG hyped up. The game is basically RNG and it was hyped up by a bunch of content creators for at least a decent amount. And then the game came out and now it's just a band beater. I hope that that aspect changed. I did have fun to some extent again because gotten born. I hope for Relsies that's not the same situation. For Captain Maui, honestly, I don't know how he has 700,000 subscribers and this mother this dude is scamming his viewers and scamming as many people as he can just for that sweet, sweet, sweet Robux that he loves to get and sniff. Ralsei's situation is crazy. Devil's Creation got hyped. They're gonna add dungeons or something, but I hope from the hype that Ralsei's gets, it does not disappoint because these YouTubers Again, keep trying to overhype the game. And you could disagree if you want. Go in the comments. Probably already did it. Or, and you probably haven't watched all the way this part. Or some of them probably have it. And they were just going down in the comments and saying, Real C's heater or Real C's this and that and that. And bro, honestly, you're wasting your time doing that. You just embarrass yourself. I hope for the best for Real C's. I hope all this hype does not let down a lot of you. And I hope it does not let me down. I need a new game to play on, on Roblox. Most of the games are really dry, and I don't really want to play Blocks Fruit. A lot of people would like me to play Blocks Fruits, but I don't want to play that. There's nothing I can really make content out of it. The PvP is literally you getting one-shotted. by For a bit of combos, you just get one-shotted. And I'm not going to play that. I, I can't play a game like that. You get instantly one-shotted. That's not PvP. That is just who could smash their buttons the quickest and hit first. That's not PvP. Not saying I'm the best at PvP and not saying that I like PvP games. But but also the PvE aspect of Block Shoot is really boring. After some extent, I mean, the level and then the amount of bandits you have to beat up. I don't want to really want to play Block Shoot. They haven't updated and it's about to be a year or has been a year and they still haven't given us an update just little sneak peeks trying to hype people up really unnecessary so yeah pretty much that's the real c situation captain maui a uh, big f youtuber with 700,000 subscribers he used to do blocks for content did a little bit of lumion legacy when it came out there's content here and there bro scams 
watch out for him and yeah don't really trust what that guy says he allegedly scams a lot of people but i don't know if it allegedly should be used since it's proven that he does and it's pretty much of a fact at this point again again the eternal peace as an example anyways that's pretty much it for this video Hopefully you liked and subscribed, turn on notifications if you want, and in the description follow all our social media, Discord server, Roblox group, outfits, you, you can purchase our outfits in our Discord, I mean Roblox group, my bad. Also, make sure you, uh, if you have the time, go in the comments, tell me what do you think about Rosies, do you think is, or what are, you, what are your hopes for Rosies, and yeah, anyways, pretty much it for the video, so I'll see you guys next time, stay safe, and take care.